Welcome to Krishna IVF channel. In today's channel, we are going to discuss the effect of asthma on IVF. Asthma is a common problem, but as on date, there is no clarity whether asthma affects IVF outcome directly or indirectly. Recent review of scientific literature showed that women with asthma compared to women without asthma take longer time to conceive, also known as time to pregnancy, which is abbreviated by word TTP. These studies showed that women with asthma took longer time to conceive compared to women without asthma, but it does not say it produces sterility, it only delays the time to conception. When it comes to IVF, some of the medication that is used in asthma can affect certain hormones like the prolactin hormone and informing the doctor about your asthma history, the severity of the asthma and also the medication you are using when it is changed will go a long way in taking precautions. Asthma may not directly affect the IVF outcome, but indirectly a woman with a poorly controlled asthma who is very sick should not plan an IVF cycle unless her asthma is under good control because during multiple episodes of asthma attacks, the oxygen tensions that are or saturations that are available are altered which in turn indirectly affect your chance of pregnancy or also affect the early developing embryo. The conclusion is asthma directly does not affect the IVF outcome but through the ill health the asthma produces through the various drugs that are used in control of asthma and also the severity of the asthma at the time of IVF will impact the outcome. The most important thing is have a good control of asthma before you plan an IVF and also inform your doctor that you are having asthma and the number of medication you are using it because these will affect the outcome and also some of the drugs that are used in IVF, especially the low dose aspirin which is commonly used in a lot of IVF centers may impact your asthma. So communicating with the doctor about your asthma will go a long way in preventing a smooth flow during your IVF cycle, embryo transfer and early part of pregnancy.